After the 300th episode aired, we went out and celebrated big. Fill it up again. In fact, the crew only just found me this morning, so I need a strong coffee and a big breakfast. Thank you, Jennifer, Matt, and Michelle for sending us to Rogers Park and smack dab. Tansy, I need my pillow and my cuddle cuddle. <laughs> Why breakfast? What is it? Clearly you're a morning so person. Good. She's bright and vibrant. So good. And, and I'm not even awake before like one o'clock <laughs> in the afternoon. Dang. So it sort of was a mix of like, one, I love the cuisine. I love making people feel taken care of. And I like being more casual and more open. I'm never disappointed. The food is delicious. The coffee is great. It's a very community oriented place. You guys have actual menu that en encompasses and empowers people with dietary problems, people I'm with- I'm that person. Did you want the vegan sour press? Serving a lot of gluten-free, vegan, alternative vegetarian is, it's just part of that. What would you say is your bestseller? A little on the nose, it's called the bestseller. It is our cheesy herb biscuit, our house-made bacon jam on it, which is like a spreadable bacon. It is delightful if you do eat meat. That hits all, all the it's, bases. It's getting there. But then we came out with the best disc seller because in addition to all those components, it has our house-made sausage scrambled into the egg. That's the kind of community I want to belong to <laughs> right there. And I can get behind that and I will support that community. First, Thing that went through your head when you when you took your first bite into that cheesy biscuit, delicious. That's a, that's a great foundation. That all the ingredients are, are top notch. Two kinds of cheddar. It's actually a vegetarian biscuit, but it has the umami flavors of meatiness in it. Right. For even people who don't eat meat. This is our house made pork sausage. It's an English style sausage. This is like a, a little breakfast portion that my mom would send me off to school with. Like in a, in a little pre-made thing with a little note so on there saying, Don't when are you going to move out? Look at that skill. And if you flip it too much, now you're losing press sauce. Well, that was off camera, so you didn't see that. <laughs> One piece did fly out. So thank you for that, Christine, for sharing with everyone. <laughs> oh, yeah. And you're just going to be lifting and allowing the egg to kind of fold underneath, because what we're looking for is a foldable, a little bit gentle, gentle. There we go, yeah, there we go. Look at that. And then you're going to season it with our southern blend of seasoning. You know the moment of truth. Now you're going to flip it. That was an anti-climax. Mozzarella provolone, and then again the smoked cheddar and the white cheddar. Pop that little sucker right in the Sally. Sally's short for salamander. If you want to get super, super like friendly with it, it's Sal. Hey. What is this? So that's going to be um, a spreadable bacon. It's cooked down with onions, honey, and it's literally just spreadable bacon. Do you want to let that sink in? Uh-huh. Bacon jam. Now oh. we have our garlic chive mayo. So then you're going to come back over here, trusty spatula, and you're going to fold it once and then fold it again, because really we're going to slide that right onto the sandwich. All that's missing, a <laughs> couple of cups of coffee, something for you to eat, and Perfect. a table for us to enjoy that. Perfect. It's fun to just people watch other people trying to take this sandwich down. Yep. I mean, you have a big mouth. Appreciate you noticing. OK. Clink it Cheers. First. Clinky. You're, like, doing really well with that, like, in a hand, though. I'm a pro. <laughs> there is an aromatic essence to it with the rosemary, too. So many different flavors. It's a bouquet of, of flavors. There is a reason it's called the bestest seller, because it really is the bestest. On Hyperbolic, but true. Right. Which means this segment on Chicago's Best isn't Chicago's Best, it's Chicago's Bestest. It really is Chicago's Best. You make history every day.